So when I think about this, I think about a story of, of a house. And it's saying that you live in this house and Jesus is coming by. And when Jesus is coming by you, you start planning your favorite food for him. You start saying that, you know, I'm going to cook Jesus some food. So you're going to cook Jesus some food. And as he's sitting across the table from you, you realize that he's looking at you with eyes of love. And you're talking about many things, spiritual things that you want answers for. Whether it be in the word of God or whether it be in your life. And he's answering these questions. And you guys are creating this deeper and deeper relationship. And then you realize. Alright, it's time to wash the dishes. So you go to wash the dishes and you realize Jesus starts fixing this little crack in the wall that was leaking from way before. And then you start realizing, what? Why is Jesus doing this in my house? Then you turn around again and he's painting in another room the exact color that you wanted it painted. And then when you come back by the kitchen in the little sink above the kitchen, you see people bringing sheetrock and you start seeing another team of people show up building a swimming pool. And then you start seeing people put a ladder on the side of your tiny little cottage and they start building a second floor. And then you hear banging and they're building another wing of the house. And then it finally dawns on you when Jesus comes into your life, he never comes to visit. He comes to live inside. Amen. So Jesus is saying, abide in me, abide in me 